So in this lecture, I want to talk just very simply about what would happen for a very you know typical circuit where maybe I have an inductor and a number of other circuit components, and how do I begin to sort of analyze this problem? And in general, what you find is that you know I won't just have a simple inductor and maybe a, sim a simple inductor and a resistor and just solve it, but I'll have other components. So how do I begin to look at this? Well, one thing I can imagine doing is taking a whole circuit like this and just looking at this whole piece and realizing there's nothing that would keep me from doing a Norton or a Thevenin in equivalent circuit. In fact, this is a pretty straightforward one. In fact, this input voltage is sort of off the structure, so I can actually try to look at this and say, what is the effect of one port of that circuit? Right? Wouldn't be a particularly hard thing to do. And, and what you could imagine is I would take this whole structure and say, I really want to make this be just a voltage source and a resistor, the classical Thevenin equivalent. Well, not particularly hard. In fact, an easy way to do it is to uh, basically Norton Thevenin equivalent on these two pieces. And very quickly what I find is that my effective resistance over here is just the sum of the two. And we can kind of see what that equivalent value would now would be from the original ones. I end up saying that I get an equivalent voltage source from looking at this structure, part of the structure. And that turns out to be about 10 a VN. Now I have made this VN and this VN, so it may be a little bit ambiguous, sorry about that. But that is kind of what's going on there. But that actually means that VN is about minus 10. And if I was saying I was going to do a step response on this circuit for VN of 1 volt, this is basically equivalent to doing a step response of minus 10 volts. But if I do that, this whole transformation basically gives me now what looks like a very straightforward circuit. And this is really one of the cool aspects is that you can take something that may be complicated. In fact, it could be a lot more complicated than what I just showed you here. And then all of a sudden, you know, reduce it down to what looks like a very canonical low-pass filter type of circuit, low-pass or high-pass filter circuit. In this case, this is going to be a high-pass uh, with the R and the L. And again, you can write this down by just sort of saying, well, V out is going to be, you know, th this V out is basically what's going, uh, you know, it's the voltage across the inductor, um, and then start to substitute the pieces together. And all of a sudden, I get this differential equation. The tau is the L over R, which in this case is 30 nanoseconds. Um, and so that gives me a pretty canonical structure. And then I can also then say that V out of S then gives, would, would then actually give me an S tau over an S tau plus 1. But now I'm actually going to say what happens for a step response. I lose the 1 over S. So again, I can do all these things that I'm used to doing with these structures, right? Not, not only having the differential equation, getting the straightforward Laplace. Obviously, i got to pull the values from here over. Um, Again, that's how I got the 30 nanoseconds in terms of the time constant. But the net effect is that I can then say, well, what happens for a step response? Well, minus 10 volt U of T. Again, U of T in terms of Laplace gives you 1 over S. Put all that together. The V out of S is minus 10 over S with 1 plus tau, which gives me a nice, basically a nice exponential decay after an initial jump right around T equals 0. And then everything just falls into place. And so what you get is a pretty expected circuit, pretty typical structure. This is again going to give me a typical high-pass response, again fairly canonical first-order behavior. And this gives you a really good op good sense of saying I could take something that looks like more complex kind of structures and do a Thevenin-Norton equivalent of it and get a much simpler response when it's all done.